Hey guys, so I am here with a product haul. I'm so excited because I have not been able to spend money on myself in literally what feels like half a year. I have not been able to buy anything, so I kind of splurged at Walgreens. That's Malia in the background. <laughs> I kind of splurged at Walgreens. I spent about, what, $100, so $92.98 on some hair and skin products. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And yeah, just keep on watching. So the first product I got is a new product from Cantu. I'm really excited about. I saw it on social media. I went to my the nearest Walgreens. I'm here in Ohio now, so I had to find one that was close. And it is this Cantu <laughs> Shea Butter um, Apple Cider Vinegar Root Rinse with tea tree oil. So it's supposed to detox your scalp, um, cleanse your scalp, and it says it's great for weaves, braids, and locks and stuff, but you know, I still feel like it would be beneficial. So yeah, that is what I got. I'm really just excited to try it because I hear a lot of good things about apple cider vinegar, especially for your scalp and like itchy scalp flakes and stuff. So I felt like this would be a really good product to try out. And this was $5.79. So I was like, I gotta get it. Cantu is um a fairly cheap um brand, like five, six I think maybe the most seven bucks. So um, yeah, if you guys are ever interested in cheap products, I definitely do recommend the Cantu line. The next product I got is the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Mud Mask. And it's supposed to soften and calm your skin. And I think I saw Mahogany Curls with this, um, with this mask and I was like okay I have to try it I don't know why I just wanted to really try it I have um as you can see skit clear skin so I don't really use anything on my face but I do like to use little mask and you know the charcoal mask and stuff just so I can feel like I'm doing something for my skin and plus it's fun so yeah I got this I forgot to mention that the um, mud mask was like 16 bucks, so a little on the pricey side, but I wanted to splurge, so. The next product I got is this Greek yogurt hair mask. Um, this one is a hydrating deep conditioner. Um, it's made with Greek yogurt, fig, and honey. Um, this is actually a brand. They do have full-size products, but I just wanted to go ahead and try the sample size. It was only like $2.79. Malia, come here. <laughs> it was only like $2.79, something like that. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to try this, see if it works. It's made with yogurt, so see if it works in my natural hair. Um, so, yeah, just a little sample. The next product I got is also from Cantu. It's their new anti-fade color protecting moisture mask and it has Quinoy Protec. So it's supposed to strengthen and soften color treated hair. And this is also a new line. So it's supposed, the line is catered to colored hair. So they have a shampoo, a conditioner, and then I saw this. Um, so I just wanted to try the mask um, just because I do have colored hair. So I wanted to see how this worked. And let me see what it, this one, sorry, this one does not smell like the usual Cantu. This actually smells like pretty fragrant, like, I don't know, it smells like a fragrance, like a perfume. It smells really good, um, so that's nice. And then, a nice creamy consistency. I feel like Cantu's products are pretty, they're a pretty good consistency, so... I'm really excited to try this. It was about, I think it was $6.99. So that's my other product I got. The next product I got is not a new product, Eco Styler Gel. <laughs> um, this is just my Holy Grail gel. Everyone's always raving about, oh, you should try this one, you should try this one. I'm just gonna stick to my Eco Styler because it, I just love it. I know a lot of people don't like how it leaves a hard hold and some people say it flakes. This one does not flake to me. The argan oil is the one that always flaked no matter what product I used with this. This works with all my products. So yeah, it was $3.99. I just had to stock up to be honest. The next product I got is this African Black Soap with Shea Butter from Shea Moisture. It's for acne prone and troubled skin. And I've 
bought this before. It's in one of my previous, um, you know, product hauls. And I really liked it. So I don't, again, I don't really use it for skincare, but it does make my skin feel really soft. After I rinse it off, my skin is a little bit rubbery. Like it's a weird feeling, but it's soft. Um, and then I'm just going to use it on my body too. So this was, I think, maybe $6.49. Yeah, $6.49. Um, and I love this. So I also went ahead and got the African Black Soap Body Lotion. So it ha it's made with oats, aloe, and vitamin E to calm, clear, and heal your skin. I'm super excited. I don't really have like any Shea Moisture skincare and I know people rave about it so that's why I got this and then I just got some deodorant because Malia misplaced mine so yeah I love Dove. Now my next product is the Shea Moisture Sacha Enchi Oil Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Curl Defining Smoothie with quinoa and rolls of Jericho extracts very long so this is to nourish and smooth damaged distressed hair and I really wanted to try this. I'm actually going to try it tonight. I'm going to do like a little battle with this and the original smoothie. Um, just to see, you know, just to have a fun video and see what works better. Um, but yeah, this was like 13 bucks. But let me see. It smells pretty good. It has like a floral scent. And let me see what the texture is. The texture is it's actually not really thick, so we will see how that works. I um I love the original smoothie. I also have tried the super fruit smoothie. That one was okay, but I still like the original better. So let's see if this one takes the cake. Um yeah, let me know if you've used this product. I've seen a lot of people really rave about it. That's why I wanted to try it. Now, last but not least, I just got some little clear rubber bands um, because I want to do some band to knot hairstyles and sometimes they just don't stay. So, I just got these little clear rubber bands and then I got some cheap old um, hair cutting scissors. These were only like 10 bucks, but I didn't really see the point in spending a ton of money on some hair cutting scissors when I'm only going to use it like once a year. I need to trim my hair so bad, it does not make sense. It's been a year and a month. No, it's been a year since I trimmed my hair. So, yeah, I, I can feel my ends definitely need to be trimmed off. So, yeah, and I'm going to be doing it myself for the first time. And I'm going to record it. So, stay tuned for that, you guys. Um, yeah, that is the end of this product haul. Let me know if you've used any of these products, what you want me to use, what hairstyle, videos, whatever you want me to make with these products. Mm -hmm. And I will see you guys in my next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, yeah.